I actually get a perfectly diced onion because uh, my blades are fixed in place this way and that way. Naturally, the onion's cut in that way for you. Do you know what I mean? Uh, for the same reason, if you take an onion and you put it in that way, that'll actually give you an onion stick instead because now you're going with the layer. So for something like a stir fry, if you want a little bit more bite, you'll always get it. Now folks, you can actually do a whole onion, you can do a whole apple, a whole potato, but you can't do a whole tomato at once. Think about it. See, where I'm actually applying pressure, if this was fully skinned and I pushed, it would naturally burst before you cut it. Having that meat face, the blade, just gives it something to bite into. And have a look at how it actually cuts that without squashing it. Can you see there? See, that's the important part, really, let's be honest. Guys, watch this with a pepper. <laughs> Watch this with a pepper. Take off the tail, work your way around the wall. Madam, do it skin side up and meat side down. Literally just push. I'll show you folks two ways to do a cucumber actually. See if you get a nice big piece like that and go down the top of it. However uh, thick or thin you put them in on top, 